Okay, I'm going to install another Fosban reactor on my 240 gallon saltwater system. I had a 550 and it worked well, but the fittings finally broke out and I can't fix them anymore. So I picked up two of these 150s. They tumble a little better. I actually have two wet dry filter systems under there. I want to put this one on the other side. So this is the one I'm going to use. It's a two little fishes um, Fosban reactor 150. And the one I have in there is working great, but it's not quite big enough. So what I need to do is I came up with a Y. These are really hard to come by. It's hard to find these, these Ys. But anyway, I have a Y. So after it comes out of my, my main pump on the return line, I will splice this into that return line. And then off of this side, I need to run another small piece of hose. And then from on the other end of that, then I will get a ball valve in there. And in order to do that, I need to, well, put this piece in first, and then we will screw this one in, and I use thread tape on that. Um, once that's in there, then I will need a small piece of PVC pipe, which I have it cut off now, and I will use the cement. I will put that in here like so. This will be screwed on like this. This will have a short piece of pipe going to this Y. A T doesn't work as well. You don't get enough water coming out of a T. The Y works better. You can adjust the flow rate with the ball valve. And then once I get this on, then I go from there into the other side, which is this one right here. So I am think I'll cut this off a little shorter. That gives me my ball valve. From there, I glue this fitting in here. This one's threaded. So once I get that threaded, this is a reducer. I thread tape this into there. I then use this smaller hose and go from here. I'm going to have to heat this up in a, in a cup of water and then go ahead and put this into here. And then this will go from here into the top of the reactor on that fitting there. That'll be the intake. Then the outtake will come out of here with more of this hose. I don't know if I have enough. And this has to go from under the tank all the way up top and return up top. So the other side works great. It's just going to take time. I also need to make a little stand to set this on so it doesn't fall over. I'll make that out of scrap wood. And when I get done, I will have two of these Fosban 150s in there, you know, which will be good for 300 gallons. This is 240. I know that one is just not keeping up and turning my sand brown. So. And I use a uh, Foss Guard in it. It works very well. So that's the plan. I also have hose clamps in order to clamp all of these pieces on here, so on and so forth. So I'm going to go ahead and start getting this thing together, and then I will add more to this. Okay, I have built me a little stand that will stand like this, and then I can put a Foss Band Reactor on top of that. So I'll get that put in there and start putting my fittings in. Okay, I now have my base made. My reactor's going to sit right up there. I have my hoses on there. Um, back in there is where I spliced in to my main, come across, and it Ys out and comes over. I have a ball valve, which is currently off, and it goes into the top of the middle of the reactor. The one on the side is the return, and the return goes over and up. And then I drilled some holes and screwed it in and went there. That is exactly the same way as I have done the other one, which I've been using for quite some time, and it works great. So that's what I got going. Um, I will get it in there, and then I'll add more. Okay, I got my new um, Fosban 150 in. This is the one that I had in here before. And as you can see, it's, this is Fosbar. And it is tumbling very well. It works good. Um, what I'm doing is I do not have a pump on this. I actually split off of my return out of that pump with a Y. And then I put in a ball valve. That goes in. And from there it goes up and over and enters in that little tube right there. And what I've also done, and what I've been working on in this video, is getting a second one put in. 
built my little stand for it. As you can see, the media is tumbling just the way it should. Um, same thing on this one. I actually wide off of my return, which is that line right there. I have it coming out of that pump and it loops up and then wise out before it goes into the UV sterilizer. It then comes out of the UV sterilizer and goes up top. I am teeing off of there for my refugium, but it's working uh, very, very well. I also have the line that goes out of the reactor and then it goes around up top and that is the return right there. So I've already seen a reduction in the brown on the sand. I'm going to test my phosphates and see where they are and track them, but this should should eliminate phosphates and silicates in this system. So that is the video for today. Um, if you have any questions or comments, let me know. These 150s are not that expensive. You can get them with a pump if you need, you know, to do that type of thing. So that is my video for today.